Jesus. It's just going to be ASD looking to get level 6. And then uh, he'll rotate somewhere. But HYM already getting sent back because he's got no regen. Ooh. First Flame goes down as early way to start Firefly to try and get out of this one. And he'll salve and TP back to the tower. But towards top, Split Earth, not gonna land. They've got the slow here on the dark. HYM trying to get the kill. The Stroke of Fate comes in. Miss Coil from TMing to get the kill on the dark. And we're especially with the creeps pushing up into the tower, taking that aggro. It could have put. The Nature's Prophet in a bit of trouble. Now he no longer has those stacks and in flame taking shots. Trian's trying to body block this Bat Rider with Kaka coming around. He needs to get to the right side of this tower as HYM dies to old chicken. He'll get into them. Level 2 on the Mist Coil is ready, so he could deny himself if they had gone forward with attacking. But it looks like they're just going to pressure this tier 1 tower as they'll lose old 11 bottom with the help of HYM. They'll go after the tower. We'll see if there's any rotations that'll come through from the storm. ST does walk over, but again, he doesn't have Vortex, so they have no lockdown in the moment. Ball lightning for a second. The Fissure comes in, and behind them is HYM. He takes a lot of damage. The Mist Coil comes out. They lose Sire over top. The Flame Break onto you. And then Soaring for Earthshaker. We'll see if he buys out on that or if he is going to end up going into the Blink Dagger. Ink Swell. Dark. Trying to get this stun, but it's not going to land. They'll get the kill. A little low on mana, but shouldn't be in too much trouble. The Diabout Edict comes out. ASD taking a little bit of damage here. Put some back towards Old Chicken. But meanwhile, over mid, HYM were keen gaming that. The early pressure is a problem for Sirius, but ball laning over with the Fissure. It's a new good spotter to block both these heroes in. The Splitter comes through on ASD. They also get the lasso. Ball Lightning still trying to do something, and they get the first kill on Akaka. They'll look for more, but Inflame dies. Old Eleven gets a triple kill. Four heroes drop. Fissure out on the two. This is a tier 3 push coming in already with Diabolic Edict Explosion doing so much. The Aphotic Shield, but into the Dragon Tail, and now he's been doomed up, so he can't even get that lasso off. The Ankle Slam does a lot of damage, but it's not enough. And this is a problem as Sirius. Just don't have Sirius enough damage. Forward. Ball Lightning all the way in. The Vortex is a little bit long. The Silence comes out for the Phantom's Embrace. Now further forward is Kaka, who does have that Ink Swell on him. Will not find a stun on anybody. He's eating a lot of damage here, as is he. They'll get themselves two. The Stroke of Fate hits on the three of these heroes. The Ball Lightning out of mat. Push out bottom, but Silar might be caught here. There's the Infernal Blade trying to survive. Inksoil on top. They won't even need the Doom. They get the kill here on to Silar once that old D runs out. They might lose E top. So at least Sirius can get one thing, but they use Echo Slam for it. I don't know if that was exactly what they would have liked to use. They do get the kill, but they'll go lose TMing with this as Wrath of Nature comes in from Old Eleven. They smoke again. And it will be over towards bottom. That's ball aiming in. Electric Vortex doing a lot of damage. They've got the Fissure, and Old Chicken doesn't end up dying. ASD and Syrah are both just dead. Chicken is the one holding the Aegis, so even just killing him won't be enough. They've got to kill him multiple times, and there it is. Aegis pop, Phantom's Embrace. That's out into the Earthshaker, who needs to get this silence off of him so he can throw an Echo Slam. But HYM is dead, and he doesn't have buyback. So now that Blink Dagger hasn't turned into anything except a defensive item. And they're without this Earthshaker for 30. Well, the entire team is in a lot of trouble. The Split Earth lands on a Sylar. They've silenced him up. The ball lightning in. They've got the Vortex Sylar surviving. Inkswell, though, with the Yules. He's sprouted up with nowhere to go. And Old Chicken is able to pull Snova through the entire squad. GG is called by Team Sirius. And King Gaming will take game one. So a very good Reaper Scythe is always nice to slow down the farm of Sirius, especially when you've got that damage coming in from Drow side. 
up against Sylar and TM Ming. First blood, ooh. First blood comes out for Kaka on a, on a TM. Looking for the sweep. Frost Arrow's coming in and dark. He's got only 24 extra damage. Old Chicken in trouble. And just kind of gets blown up there. They have the stun held up and they've got dark. They'll get both kills here. HYM getting a double kill. And this lane all of a sudden looking pretty pristine for Sirius. So they get the kill there. Sour dying bottom. As they have the... Not really a great spot for him to be in. As with haste. Tian Ming comes over on to Kaka. We'll get another kill in this lane, and he's just able to walk away. Doesn't have a TP, but he'll die to the tier 2 over mid, get full health, full mana, and be back in the lane in just 10 seconds. This time around. As their aggression has not bit them too much just yet. Bottom again, Battery Assault with the Cogs. And Reaper Scythe comes in. That will get the kill here on a TM Ming. Kaka goes down to TM Ming before he ends up dying, so the experience will be there for him. But uh, ASD unable to do anything about that as they'll take the Elder Titan over top. And they... So not of utmost importance, but still fill up that bottle and heal up your TA. Sand King Epicenter on Old Chicken. They get another kill onto the Drow. They get the sweep hitting onto two. They might even try to turn this, but once the stun misses, they might need to get out of this. HYM will fall. That's to the Elder Titan as well as these creeps. Seven. There's level four on the bear. Top row strike. Elder Titan dark in trouble and will pop. Yet another kill in this top lane. 3 0 3 for the Sand King HYM at 2 1 and 4. So six kills in this top lane. Kaka looking like he's next. The stun hits, and with AST making the rotation with that haste, it is yet another one in this lane. And this is. Average ready, he's picked up that Vlad's. His farm is not too terrible. And Sour just striking away at this Tidehunter who really could care less but they've got the epicenter coming out they've got the blink dagger ready there's the pearl strike they need to make sure they get this kill before he's able to get the ravage off and the ravage comes in but they get the kill on an old 11 anyway and i almost think that they're okay with that as the ravage did come out hook shot through asd in trouble with the serpent words on top of him he's forced to run away Silar's bear taking a lot of damage 300 gold given there as the reaper scythe comes in doesn't get the kill onto the lena but finally this is drow doing a lot of damage and the root comes in Sylar will bully Old Chicken, get the kill, full team wipe here for Team Sirius, they lose the Lena. Sweep again, Earth Splitter comes out, they lose the clockwork and they might even lose more. He just gets killed out here and now Sylar's bear trying to do as much as it can. TA though, they've got the fear running away. There's the trap placed down, but the gust comes out and TA's dead. Pick off after pick off after pick off. They've got the hook shot that lands onto the necro. He walking away. They've got the hex as well as the ether shock, and now he's low as well. Might end up dying. The stun comes out onto the necro. They still have the sand king, but the shackles locking him up. Laguna Blade comes in. Now the burrow strike sweep through. And that will sweep the Lena. They are just losing bodies here on Sirius. King Gaming turning it around massively. The potential for, and, and now that they're showing this potential, Sirius need to play it the right way. Hookshot comes out onto the Drow, immediately Hex, the Burrow Strike lands on her two, they'll drop down the Serpent Wards, they've got themselves the Gust as well as the Shackle, the Ear Splitter comes through. And they get the kill on a TM Ming, they'll look for more. It's Sylar left all by himself. The Reaper Scythe comes in, that's gonna get the kill on a Sylar. The Burrow Strike hits again. A lot of heroes well on the side of King Gaming when they've got themselves the mech. So they heal up just a bit, they sustain for a little bit longer. They lose old 11, two heroes dead on King Gaming. 
can they turn it around? The stun hits, they've got TA, Milk Strike comes in, but the Gust is there. Drow doing a lot of damage, slowing up the TA, trying to get back to the high ground. Milk Strike once again, there's the stun, that mids, Milk Strike comes through on a Yi. That's three, now four, turning it around. Old Chicken in trouble, the four step away, but the Milk Strike from ASD, the ultra kill. Hoo hoo hoo, baby, this TA coming in. Here. As Silo will start to run at these heroes on the side of King Gaming. Epicenter comes out from the Sand King. Four heroes over top. They drop down the Sentry War. They've got Vision and now Inflame trying to run away. Reaper Scythe comes in. That'll finish him off. Dead for 75 seconds. But here comes the TA. The BKB's going to be popped. The Ravage gets thrown out and it's only going to be one. For the side of... Had the Arcane Boots, I think maybe he was going to go into the Guardian Greaves. But Necro looking to sustain a little bit goes into the guardian grease burrow strike hits and now they're looking for the sweep hook shot though on the back lines here's the laguna blade they look over the necrophos they'll get the kill on either they'll look for more four staff back past the cogs but the stun hits from hym and this is going to be a second market two there for serious epicenter comes in and you marked it two you might just mark it three tidehunter four staffed onto the high ground kaka trying to get away but the chase is on from the bear they've got the spirit vessel they'll root him up so this is definitely three. BKB comes out from the TA going into the base. Double kill here for the TA. That's going to be another full team wipe for Sirius. Triple kill for ASD. They're past the tier fours. And this is Yi who could be in a bit of trouble. The whole team's actually here. The blink with the Burrow Strike. That comes through, but they are going to lose this Necro potentially. But the Ravage comes in. That keeps them alive. They lose Kaka. BKB's going to be popped here by ASD. He's moving in for more. He's got himself the double kill. He already had an Ultra Kill earlier in this game, as well as a Triple Kill. He's going to be looking for everything. The Reaper Scythe comes out onto Inflame. That's going to be one dead on the side of Sirius. But there's the Triple Kill for ASD. They've got the Spirit Vessel onto the Tide Hunter. They've slowed him up with the Trap. They want to give it all to ASD. A potential Ravage and a potential Rampage coming in. As the trap laid down on the old chicken, chasing the drow. The buyback comes out from the necropros. That's going to be an ultra kill. He'll stop the TP, but there's the trap placed down. The buyback's going to this one. Burrow strike. That lands on two. Followed up with the hook shot. The gust comes in, but the poor staff, the elder titan, away. Old 11 in a little bit of trouble, but they've also got the clockwork low. They'll get the ear splitter. That'll get the kill into the clockwork. They look over at the TA. Who has this Aegis still as well as the double damage? The BKB is going to be popped. They'll look over the Necro Post. Now he in trouble. Burrow Strike lands on two. The Servant Ward's placed down. That's going to be another kill here for ASD's bot. Beyond Godlike. Double kill comes through. The Shackle isn't going to be enough. It doesn't look like they have any other follow up damage. Come in. Spare Vessel placed on Akaka with the double damage. You need to be very careful of the TA, but he'll have a second life in this one. As they continue to pressure over mid. Spare Vessel finally running out on Kaka. Damage coming through. They've got the sweep. There's the rocket flare coming in. Hookshot available in 10 seconds. And GG's going to be called. That'll just be the end of the game. We're going to a game three between Sirius and Keen Gaming. Radiant. On the Huskar. I guess we'll see if Huskar is still viable here. Quick Burrow Strike damage, but he needs to be careful. Gush through, and now Tian Ming hit with a stun. This is looking like first blood for Keen. And, oh, gets the salve off, but I believe was immediately stopped, and the Gush comes in to get the kill first blood here for Keen. For right now, Keen Gaming doing a very good job. They'd like to see if they could get a kill. Sauro level 2. He's got the Spirit Link, but they've got the Haste. ASD coming over. Old 11 in trouble. They've got the Burrow Strike. This will be a kill here for ASD. Avoiding the stun of Kaka, but at full health. And... So moving out of the lane to get that kill. But now sitting uh, about a full level behind Yi. So you need to be careful as Dark goes down. They'll look for more. This could be a second. They kill the Drow with the Double Edge. And it's a double kill here. As Grimstroke gets low, as does ASD getting pressured by Yi. Power there with creeps nearby and, and going on the Aphotic Shielded Dark Abaddon. But now he's going to dive under the tower, taking a couple of pot shots. The Aphotic Shield finally pops and he's been gusted back into the hands of Dark. 
and HYM will get the kill, and now Inflame needs to TP out. But he'll actually just go with the hoof stomp. Stroke of Fate doing a lot of damage. The stun comes in and they will get old chicken. It's a double kill for HYM who ends up falling as the rotation comes in from Kaka. But to take out the drow again is quite nice and it leaves old 11 by himself. So the burrow strike hits. The kraken shell purges. But it's not going to matter. Sylar gets the kill. Sank King coming over. They'll have Stroke of Fate. But Abaddon nearby, he dives under the tier 1 tower. The Inkswell on top of AST, who's getting low, but the stroke of fate there, and the miscoil to Swall. Huskar comes in, and well, AST is able to get a kill, and then the deny from Dark. They don't get the second, but they do get him to deny himself, and killing off that Huskar now puts Sirius into the net worth lead. Top tower is under attack. So, seven minutes in, seven to four, we've got quite a number of kills so far. We'll take a look at the net worth as Sylar leads it. Bear has phase boots. We'll see if it goes into the Mask of Madness again. Over bottom, Kaka dies. They'll take out this Lena. We've got three to kill this bear. That might not be the right spot for them as the Burrow Strike hits onto the Lena. And now Sylar moving forward. Dragon Slave out. They've got the Sandstorm. Sentry Ward placed down by the Radiant. And now they'll bring the bear closer with HYM making the rotation. The root onto the Lena. And they'll look for more. Old Eleven needs to get out of this one. If he gets rooted, he's in a lot of trouble with the Stampede with the Burrow Strike. This could be another one. It'll be forcing the Ravage. But here comes Yi. Here comes Old Chicken. Down goes Tian Ming. Down goes Sylar as well as HYM. Or actually, HYM gets out. It's serious. It's top of the net worth now is the TA who struggled against the Huskar early on in lane. We've got the Sandstorm, though Dust, the Burrow Strike comes in, the Dragon Slave out, and Tian Ming will end up dying here to Yi. While that's happening, the Tier 1 mid in trouble. HYM, Inflame, and ASD all hidden away at it. This will pull out the Glyph. But heavy rotations, and now Yi going in, but he's silenced up immediately with the Phantom's Embrace. He, get the, he gets the Disarm on all three heroes. AST forced all the way back. The Soulbind comes in, but they will not lose this Huskar. The Ravage gets thrown out for the Grimstroke. They'll get themselves at least one. They hold the tower, and it's even at nine apiece. But to the Drow is a uh, little bit in the Drow's, a uh, little bit in the Lone Druid's favor. And then Centaur to the Tide is very much in Tide's favor. But now, there's the Phantom's Embrace. They've got the Stroke of Fate. They're doing a lot of damage. And Soulbind comes out. And the Huskar in trouble. He'll end up dying. ASD gets credit for the kill on the Yi. Now they'll look for more. Tidehunter comes over, but he doesn't have Ravage just yet. They've lost Dark. They might on a Sylar. Or at least on his bear. Wink, Burrow Strike, Drow in trouble, Meld Strike comes in as well as the Fear, a quick little gut punch there to Old Chicken to get the easy kill, but while that's happening, they will have Inflame running away, he gets hit by the Gush, trying to avoid the stun of Kaka and the Laguna Blade coming out, Dark gets credit for that one, and ends up trading, not enough to do something like that. But Stampede use. they're gonna walk over and try to get the kill here on to Yi. Not many entry points to get close enough to him, but they get the blink forward. Oh, the Burrow Strike stops him from getting the Ravage off. This is a big problem. Oh, no. Tidehunter in a lot of trouble. The Phantom's Embrace runs out, but he's dead anyway. An unfortunate spot. As he'd like to lead with that Ravage, but going into the Roche Pit is very risky with Ravage available and Tidehunter alive. The war will be placed by the Dire. They spot where everybody is. Now the Blink Burrow Strike hits out of the Huskar. Blink forward. There's the Ravage. Hits on to every single serious hero. Tian Ming goes down immediately. He'll buy back to get back into this fight. Let's see what he's able to do. Is the Stampede of the BKB is going to be popped here by the Centaur. He's running over everybody. The Soulbind comes out on both Old Eleven as well as Dark. They've got the damage. The Stroke of Fate lands on Old Eleven. They finally get the kill. He comes in, but the Burrow Strike is out from Tian Ming, who bought back early in this fight. Gust on to three. Not going to matter. They lose Dark. He buys back. 
Bear running at Huskar, but he's got the help of Kaka to get the stun. Meanwhile, over by the pit, they've got the Phantom's Embrace. That's out of the drought. Four staff onto the other side of the pit. The chase is still on. The gust hits on a two. The Spirit Vessel on top of him, still trying to run. Will he be able to escape? Spirit Vessel finally runs out. He is low. Stroke of Fate comes in from HYM to get the kill. Starting to hit away at TM Ming, but they've got the Spirit Vessel on once again. Epicenter ringing through from the sand. He gets the kill on a Yi. Old 11 drops again. The buyback comes up from the Drought Ranger as well as the Huskar. Lands onto this Grimstroke. The four staff forward. HYM will lose his life. But at the end of the day, it's for the greater good as it opens up the Roche Pit. The Aegis Cheese will be picked up. Burrow Strike comes in, and they are in trouble as the Abaddon's Barrel Time is going to be popped as well as Yi running away. We'll go after the Centaur, but he's got the BKB. He needs to get back to the Shrine, trying to heal up as best he can. The Trap gets onto the Huskar, slowing him up. Bear chasing. He's disarmed for a moment, just a little bit too far away from Sour. But the Blink Burrow Strike hits, and they will get the kill onto the Huskar. BKB pop by ASD. And they'll attack the Tier 2 Tower. Level 22 there. Sylar, meanwhile, has the AC on the Bear. 2,000 gold saved up, and continuing to just farm the entire map. Keeping King Gaming to their base, basically. So Sirius keeping the pressure on. Now this time over mid. They'll show Sylar. They'll back to smoke. And they want to go in on this. They want to finish the game right here, right now. They know where the drow is. The blink, the hoof stomp, will miss. But the Burrow Strike comes out on the two. The BKB's going to be popped. They'll take out the Huskar immediately. Now the Oak from Burrow, the Soulbond comes through onto the Tidehunter as well as the Phantom's Embrace. And he Soulbond's over to the dark. They kill off this Tidehunter. He's going to be dead for 70. Double kill comes out for ASD. GG's going to be called. And serious move on to the upper bracket final from a 1 0 deficit to win the next two. The reverse sweep comes in Sirius's favor. And they will take this series.